morning, good morning, good morning. Carol Davis here with a spot of sunshine just for you. So, uh, wow, beautiful day in the desert. Hope you're doing okay wherever you are. And uh, tell your friends that you can find these broadcasts on YouTube. Carol, no, 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 start over. I always do that. It's Change Less Change. Change Less Change YouTube. So it's the same as the name of my book. What a surprise. Anyway, so a lot of people say, I can't, I have to work, I can't get up. Well, make sure everybody knows. And when you go to YouTube, make sure you see that red bar up there, the top of the page that says, subscribe. Please, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell your friends, please subscribe. It costs nothing to do, but it'll do a whole lot of good for me. I would really appreciate it. Tell your friends, even if they hate me, subscribe. Just kidding. No, but who hates me? <sighs> That'd be like hating Zen Pig. Today we're going to talk about feelings are clouds. I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want to bother my neighbor today. So, feelings are clouds. You know, I always, I thought that years ago that, like, I just put my feelings on the clouds because, you know, well, it's like stormy days. You know when you're having a hard time and your feelings are hurt and your feelings are hurt and you're having a bad day. I always thought it was just like the clouds. They just pretty soon, they just float away. And even if it's a dark clouds, even if it's a dark, dark day, the sun is still up there. Do you know that? Up above the clouds, there's still sunshine. If you've been on a plane, you know what I'm talking about. You go through the clouds, above the clouds, sunshine, bright sunshine. So always remember... The sun is there. Just have to wait till the clouds float away. And sometimes if it's your feelings, you can help it along a little to move a little faster out of your way. Move the clouds. So, good title today. Feelings are clouds. It's true. Another autumn had come. Brilliant leaves were raining down on Zen Pig and the others at the farmer's market in town. Zen Pig was enjoying every step on the cool, crunchy ground, but then he had to stop because he heard a crying sound. A familiar face, it was Zen Pig's niece, who had lost her father in the crowd. It's okay, climb on, he said, as he knelt with a bow. Little Pig jumped right up. She knew he'd help her find her way. As they walked through the market, she listened to what he had to say. I'm trying to practice listening better. Together we will find your dad, Zen Pig spoke with ease. We all lose our way sometimes. In fact, even me. Yep. I lose my way a lot. When we're lost, we can't feel things like sadness come around. But know that it's normal. There's no shame in feeling down. It's okay. Anger, too, will pay a visit as you continue to journey on, but know that its stay is short, and soon it will be gone. At times, fear will cast a shadow on your heart and on your mind. Just count your breaths in and out, and then your light will shine. Remember what these feelings are, simply rolling clouds in the sky, Blocking for just a moment the light you have inside. Your true nature is your joy. Behind the clouds it beams. Take comfort. Your light is always there, even when it cannot be seen. Atop Zen Pig's shoulders, Little Pig could see so much more. Even though she had gotten lost, she had found what she was looking for. Just then, her dad was spotted. With love, they came together, but now she knew she could shine no matter what the weather. No matter what the weather, because this too shall pass. So I'm going on to another one. It's called The Wonder We Are. Thank you, Mark Brown, for writing these Zen Pig stories. Dedicated to Amy, who has access to some of 
my zenless moments yet still supports me. Aww. Here we go. Granted the gift of the sun's first light, Zen Pig sits with the tree, enjoying the sight. Mm. I love mornings. I think it's my favorite time of day. Passersby stop amidst the morning stroll to curiously ask, what's Zen Pig up to on that green grassy knoll? One said to the other, I'm not quite sure. The other looked excited and said, let's find out more. Excuse us, Zen Pig, please tell us what you see because to us it appears to be just a regular old tree. Ah, Zen Pig said, a small smile on his face. The tree is just the beginning. There's much more to embrace. When I look at this tree, I see every drop of rain, every ray of sunlight, every bird it will sustain. Wow. Zen Pig always can see beyond. Within a glass of water, there lies a cloud in the sky. Within every piece of toast, a farmer on which it relies. Every plant and every being are all intertwined, the well-being of all we must bear in mind. The whole of nature is more than it appears. We must look closely and keep our minds clear. Then we will see the wonder we are, our great connection even with the stars. No matter what you see, take the time to look close, and you'll be marveled and amazed by what it will show. You know, so... Um, Again, thank you, uh, Mark, uh, Mark uh, Brown, for all these stories. And, you know, if you're listening, you may think, oh, why are you reading such silly, simple little kids' stories? Because there's so much wisdom in the simplicity of being a child and experiencing life from a, from a beginner's mind, from a child's view. That simplicity carries great wisdom, and I hope you carry that wisdom with you today as you move on and as you give to the world. Thank you. See you tomorrow.